The starter trick, follow the target stick. In the early sections of this chapter, the dogs have not first been introduced to the tippet stick. Have a look at our previous chapter for information on using the tippet stick to introduce the target stick. Start by introducing the dog to the end of the target stick. Mark and reward for the dog moving towards, then touching that target end. Rewarding on the target end helps build value for that and will encourage the dog to go back to it and target it. Once the dog is interested in the target end, you can begin to move it around more. Then you can introduce following the end of the target stick for a short distance. If he is not responding to presenting the target stick, just remove it and present it again. And make the next repetition easier. Then you can progressively increase the distance of the follow. Note that no reward comes if the dog targets your hand or halfway down the target stick. Now mark and reward. As you build distance, you can move in a variety of patterns and use turns or move on an arc or a straight line. The next step is to begin to raise the end of the target stick a little higher above the dog's head. A reminder of following with the target on the dog's nose. Do it again. Then raising it high. Yes. By this stage, whether you used the tippet stick or just the target stick, your dog now understands following the end of the target stick. Now you can progressively yes. build distance travelled or the height of your target stick. Preferably build one or the other at a time. Don't build both distance yes. and height of the target stick at the same time. Yeah. This trick offers two options. Either the handler describes a full 360 degree turn or you can move forward at least two body lengths. In either case, the dog is moving with focus on the end of the target stick. Moving 360 degrees around the circle, your dog will cover more ground than if he moves in a straight line or curve for two body lengths. As you continue to increase distance, remember to break it down and vary the distance before you mark and then reward. On a circle, the handler can choose to stay pretty much on the spot or to move in a small circle yourself. Now I'm pulling together the key elements of the trick. In a test, 
your target stick must be at least as long as the dog's body, from the wither to the base of his tail. For the setup, your dog will be beside you. He could sit, but normally he would be in a stand. You will hold the target stick in front of and slightly above the dog's head. You will then cue the dog to move and he will follow the end of the target stick. You choose whether to move in a straight line or on a circle. The dog maintains focus on the end of the target stick until conclusion of the trick when the judge indicates you have done the required distance. Here are some examples of the starter trick, follow the target stick.